Hallo! And here's Orlan and I'm going to show you how to open a jackfruit. This is about 40 pounds of jackfruit. I picked this fresh off the tree yesterday at a mango farm I work at. And it's organic and it's fully ripe. And I'm going to show you guys how to open it. But first I'm going to talk to you guys about how a jackfruit should look like when it's fully ripe. And a jackfruit that's fully ripe should give in to pressure, to gentle pressure as you can see it gives in and it should be full of these dark spots actually the more dark spots it has the riper it is but it might get um, beetles and worms in it if it's too ripe on the tree so I had to pick it a bit earlier but once a jackfruit is approaching being uh, at its riper stage it will actually smell quite good, it will be quite fragrant and it will be quite pleasant and when you smell it, it should smell really really good, it should be the best smell of any fruit. <laughs> I love the smell. It should be the best smell you ever smelled, okay? And now I'm going to show you guys how to open it. So, to open a jackfruit, I recommend you use coconut oil and bathe coconut oil around your knife. If a jackfruit is fully ripe, it shouldn't have the latex, but even this one I believe will have latex because it, it wasn't picked perfectly ripe because I didn't want any worms in it. But if you have the coconut oil, you put it around the knife. But since I am fruitarian and I'm a bit of a purist in that respect, I don't use um, coconut oil to open up my jackfruits because I don't consume any any oils for ethical reasons or for health reasons. But if you must, you if you really want to preserve your knife, you can do it. But uh, this knife in particular, I don't particularly care for. If it was my ceramic knife, then I would use coconut oil. But it still wouldn't. You know, I would prefer to use this knife because. I really don't want to waste my ceramic knife and this knife I can just recycle or give away. I don't need it. I just to open jackfruit. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to open it. And how you open it is you go sideways and you start to go all the way around it. And it should not um <clears throat> It should not. Oh, okay. So this one is fully ripe. It has no latex. Oh yeah, I know how to pick my jackfruits. So this jackfruit is perfectly ripe, and it has absolutely no latex. So I could have used my ceramic knife on it. So I picked me a good jackfruit. See, no latex. Beat that, young caller. <laughs> and now I'm going to be opening it some more. Oh, the smell of jackfruit and mangoes together is just amazing. And now it's getting to that point where I'm going to open the alien fruit. No latex. Look, 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 no latex. No latex! <laughs> and this is the biggest fruit in the world. It's been recorded up to being 154 pounds somewhere in India. <laughs> I wish I could tell you exactly where in India, but I forgot. But, as you can see, it's perfectly ripe and it smells so, so good. The only fruit that I think is superior to jackfruit is um, the white sapote, durian and sampadak. But jackfruit is just so good. In Spanish, we call it jaca. And in Portuguese and in Brazil, they also call it jaca. <laughs> so it's pretty good. I, I love it. So I'm going to eat some. Mm. So many flavors all at once. It's so, so amazing. Mm. So, remember that if you want to avoid having any latex on you, Get it perfectly ripe. Look, no latex. No latex. So, you guys should go get jackfruit, and they aren't the cheapest fruits on the planet, but this particular jackfruit I got for free, and it's 40 pounds, so it was free jackfruit. So, okay. So, you guys are gonna go get jackfruit, and next time I make a video, I have to make a QA video, but I forgot again. <laughs> so, okay, bye. Enjoy jackfruit.